video will walk you through the first two homework problems um, that are due uh, next Tuesday. So uh, the first one here says we've got someone that owns a garage and they're determining whether they should uh, buy some machine that uh, retreads tires and they have to pay $24,200 for the machine and they expect that there will be an annual cash flow of $4,400 a year. So what that means is we get cash after we pay all the costs for running the machine and paying the person to run the machine. We expect to net $4,400 from the operation of that machine for eight years and then maybe it wears out or breaks or something like that. So at the end, of, so I've got the timeline here so we can see what's going on. At the end of every, so this is year one, at the end of year one we would collect $4,400, at the end of year two we're assuming we'd collect $4,400 and so on and so forth eight times. And so basically what we're trying to do is, so that's an annuity, right? There's a steady stream of constant payments, 4400 4400 4400 over and over and over and over. That price or that uh, the cash dollar amount does not change, nor does the span of time between each payment or cash receipt. We're trying to figure out what's that worth today? What's that worth right now? So this is the present value of an annuity problem. Here's the formula that we're going to use. We're trying to solve for the present value. And the present value isn't 24200 That's the present value of what we would have to pay. But we're wanting to know if that's what the machine is really worth based on the cash flows it produces, assuming we want to earn a 10% return. So we want to know the present value. We know the size of the annuity, which is $4,400. But we now need to find the factor. So the first thing we need to do is determine we, the, which table we need to pull the factor from using 10% as the annual rate of interest and for eight years. The, that's the N, the number of periods. So the I in this case uh, would be eight, uh, would be 10% and the N would be eight. So we're going to go to this table, which is the present value of an ordinary annuity. We're trying to figure out what it's worth today. And so the factor is we're going to go over to 10% because that's the rate of return the owner wants to earn on this investment. And we're going to go down to the eighth uh, this this level here, uh, n of 8, 5.33493. So I go back to my problem, and I know the factor then is uh, 5.33493. And uh, Excel cut those numbers off. That's okay. It'll get us close enough. The annuity is $4,400. I multiply those two together. And what you'll see, if I make this a little bit bigger here, is let me just format that. You'll see, as I get it to work here, that uh, that investment uh, is is worth twenty three thousand four seventy three, which is below the twenty four thousand two hundred. And so the answer to this question is no, we shouldn't buy it because it's only going to return this much in today's dollars. So if I have to spend twenty four two hundred, I wouldn't invest. Um, I wouldn't invest the 24200 because I'm not earning a 10% return. I'm earning something less than 10%. So the answer is no, uh, and that's why. The second prob homework problem says that we have someone that's going to buy an investment, and, and these are available investments. You can go out and you could buy in an annuity. Uh, it's called an annuity, right, uh, from, from some sort of a, a brokerage house. and. Uh, they are promising you to return you $1,000 for the next 20 years. That first payment doesn't start for a year from now. So you're paying, this is the present value, 98, 18, 15. That's what it's worth today. So we already know the present value. This is an annuity. It's paying me $1,000 over and over and over and over and over 20, 20 times. But I don't know the rate of return. But I do know, using s simple lin linear algebra, I know the present value, 9818.15. And I know the uh, annuity is $1,000. So if I wanted to kind of sh show you the formula here, equals the $1,000 times the factor. Right, so now all we have to do is solve for this equation, trying to figure out what the factor is. So watch how I do this, right? So I'll take the, I'll divide by a thousand. So ninety-eight, eighteen point one five divided by a thousand tells me that the factor is nine point eight one eight one five. Okay, remember when we found the factor, we needed two things. We needed the n and we needed the interest rate. Well, we don't know the interest rate, but we do know the n. 
The n is 20, and we know the factor. OK, so n is 20, here's the factor, 9.81815. So if I go to the right table, remember this is the present value of an annuity, I go to the present value of an annuity table, I don't know the interest rate, so I don't know where to go here. But I do know that the n is 20. OK, so I go down to 20. And I do know the factor was 9.81 something. So I keep looking over until, oh, look at this right here. Here's that factor, 9.81815. So if I go up here, that's an 8% interest rate. So the answer to the problem is that she's re getting an interest uh, return of 8% on her investment. So 8% would be the right answer for this problem.